I think this was really a major breakthrough in MS uh, research during the last year. It's a marvelous uh, epidemiological study which really links uh, Epstein-Barr virus infection to multiple sclerosis. And it's not an Epstein-Barr virus in every, body, uh, every patient, but whenever the uh, uh, Epstein-Barr virus occurs at the very late stage, so after puberty, then uh, these patients have a much higher risk uh, for multiple sclerosis and this Epstein-Barr virus infection apparently is the initial trigger for the disease. Now how that actually then uh, is uh, uh, mechanistically involved in the multiple sclerosis pathogenesis is not so clear. There are several possibilities. One could be that Epstein-Barr virus infected B lymphocytes hide within the central nervous system and are there recognized by an Epstein-Barr virus uh, uh, directed immune reaction, which then is responsible for chronic inflammation. Or the other thing is that uh, the Epstein-Barr virus infection in B lymphocytes changes the immune system so that uh, the uh, uh, immune system then starts to overreact against body, uh, 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 so against antigens which are present in the normal body, for instance in the brain, in the sense of an autoimmune reaction. For both of these mechanisms, some evidence has accumulated during the last uh, years, but none of them are ex currently really proven. So we know this association with, uh, uh, of Epstein-Barr virus with MS, but the mechanisms themselves are still open for further research.